Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about turning the road or once upon a time, we used to call it three point turn. Now this maneuver, you don't have to do it in the test anymore. They've taken that away. But every now and again, we do have to turn our car face the other way because there could be a problem in the road. So I thought that I will show you and put this in my channel so that every now and again, if you need to turn your car face the other way, you know how to do it safely and under control. So firstly, what I will do is I will explain to you with a diagram how this turn in the road or three point turn, we used to call it, is done. And then I will show you how it's done in practice so that every now and again, if you need to turn your car face the other way because of some reason, you know how this is done and you know how you should do this safely without causing any problem for others. So let's do this. Let me explain to you first. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to explain to you how this maneuver is done. And then I'm going to show you how it's done in practice. Now, this is known as turning the road. Turning the road meaning this is the way you're driving at the moment and you want to turn facing the other way. Firstly, this was in the test in the earlier days, a few years back in the UK, but uh, they've taken this away. It's not in the test anymore and they've introduced a few other ones, new ones in the test. But this one I thought I'll put in the channel. And the reason is because every now and again, we will have to turn our car face the other way. Maybe because we are driving and there could be road work, there could be accident, there could be something there that we have to wait here for a while. But instead, if we know how to turn the car face the other way, we could just turn around and go the other way. Okay, obviously we're not going to do this maneuver on a busy road if the road is busy, but as long as the road is a side road and it's a residential area and you can do this turning on that road, then we will do that if we think we need to. And like I said, because there is a problem in front and we don't want to go any further. Okay, road work, accident, or maybe you change your mind and you don't want to go that way anymore and you want to turn the car face the other way. Okay, we also used to call it three point turn because normally it's done in three point. This is your car, one point, two point, and three point. So, firstly, we go forward, that's first point, then we reverse, second point, and then we go forward, which is the three point. Okay, so this is why we used to call it three point turn, but it's normally known as turn in the road. We turn the car face the other way. Okay, so first of all, divide this maneuver into three parts. Okay, when you are doing this maneuver. First part is to move from here to there. Second part is to move from there to there. And the third part is to move from there to there. Okay, so first part, this is your car. You want to move from there to there. Clutch down, first gear, set the gas, which is around 1500 to 2000 rev. Okay, look around, including your blind spot. Make sure there's no one coming. Okay, no signal because if you signal right to move, somebody coming, they might think you want to move off. Okay, so no signal. When you are doing the parking, if there's somebody coming, we're not going to move anyway. When there's no one coming, we're going to start to move. When you reach this point, the way our car, our car will become a signal for others. So no signal meaning no indicator. Your car will become a signal to others while you are doing. Okay, so no signal from this point. So first of all, we need to think how we're going to move from there to there. So bring the clutch to the bite in point. You've taken the handbrake off. Fraction more clutch up, car starts to move and you hold the clutch. Don't let the clutch go. You hold the clutch. Only control the clutch. Fraction up, clutch starts to move and you hold the clutch. Hold meaning keep your feet where it is okay car starts to go if it goes too fast fraction clutch down okay keep going with the clutch reach the top of the road the top so when you reach the middle of the road now think of downhill start remember i said the middle of the road is always higher so from there to there clutch control and from the middle we probably will have to do downhill start meaning 
brake control okay so when you reach here the car probably will go fast automatically put the clutch down to the floor cover the brake and control with the brake only so clutch stays down to the floor and you put the brake on and then you just control with the brake meaning you release the brake a little bit car starts to go okay keep looking around make sure there's no one coming when you reach this point here and if somebody comes now you stay where you are let them go so if there's a car here let them go if there's a car here let them go okay stay where you are if they let you go you carry on going okay so keep going like i said control the brake if you think the car is not going because the hill isn't steep enough then you bring the clutch to the biting and you do the bite once you do if the car wants to go really fast because of the hill you do the same again meaning put the clutch down to the floor and just do the brake control put the brake on and just release the brake for you to go keep going so you've done full right lock from here steering has to be full right lock from this point so once you started to move full right lock steering do the clutch control reach the middle so full right lock steering keep going with the clutch reach the middle from the middle think of brake control clutch down to the floor put the brake on and just control the car with the brake keep the full right lock keep going keep looking around and just before you reach the other side just before you reach start steering left okay so full right lock from here and just before you finish steer left as much as you can why it will be easier for you to go the other way so steer left as much as you can and just before you reach stop put the clutch down put the brake on to stop the car fully done this is your car so you stopped here done so first part is done clutch control steering full right lock clutch control up to this point from there think of the brake control clutch down to the floor and control the car with the brake just before you stop steer slightly left and stop done handbrake on reverse gear look around including your blind spot both blind spot okay and make sure there's no one coming and then we will do full left lock this time from here full right lock from there full left lock how are we going to move with the clutch again like i said it'll be going up backwards so clutch to the biting make sure you're going to have gas which is 1500 to 2000 rev and you feel the bite because if you release the handbrake too early you're going to go and hit the pavement make sure you feel the biting before you take the handbrake off once you feel the bite take the handbrake off slower than normal make sure the car doesn't move done keep looking around again make sure there's no one coming full left lock this time car starts to go you come to the middle with the full left lock with the clutch control and about here like i said you might go downhill now so how are you going to control put the clutch down to the floor put the brake on and do the brake control this time okay keep looking around now from this point to this point we've done full left lock with the clutch control start looking over your shoulder left shoulder looking at the back over your left shoulder looking at the back okay you reach the middle now think of the control that you need so control we need the brake control clutch to the floor put the brake on now from here you need to switch over to your right side okay so here from there to there over your left shoulder at the back and from there look over this way towards right and you're looking for the pavement okay so right side looking for the pavement because right hand side of your car is going to hit the pavement first this is why from there to there look over your right looking for the pavement okay you've got the clutch down and control the brake because of the downhill if you think the car's not going keep doing the clutch control if not put the clutch down do the brake control so you're going with the brake control because of the downhill keep looking over your right every now and again look around when you reach the middle someone coming they could go if you're blocking go the way you are going keep going look over your right like i said because right hand side will hit the pavement just before you reach the pavement put the clutch down brake to stop done handbrake on okay then go to first gear look around make sure no one coming do the clutch control meaning to the biting point and you move off and you carry on going 
okay so just to summarize you start from here to there then from there to there and from there to there from there to the middle clutch control from middle to the other side maybe brake control and from there to the middle clutch control and from there to the finish maybe brake control and from there all the way you do the clutch control and you carry on going if someone is coming while you're doing the maneuver depending on where you if you just started stop where you are let them go if they don't go then you carry on going if you reach the middle and someone coming and if you're going this way then go to the other side and stop but if you're but if you're coming backwards and someone coming and if you're in the middle keep going to the other side and stop so they could go okay now do you have to do that in three point not really if the road is small you might have to do it in five point turn one two three four five depending on three point normally because normally roads are big enough to do in three point but if the road is too narrow you might have to do five point turn or seven point turn depending on the road okay so now we are going to turn the car face the other way meaning we're going to do turn in the road or known as three point turn and the reason we are doing it is because we don't want to go any further probably because there is a problem probably because road works accidents there is a problem over there and we don't want to go any further and we want to turn the car face the other way okay so how do we do it clutch down first gear we give gas maybe 1500 rev to 2000 okay enough to move the car then we look around to see if it's safe look around including the blind spot to see if it's safe okay no signal because the position of our car will become a signal if there's somebody coming we're not going to move if there's no one coming we start to move when we move somebody comes looking at our car they will know what we are doing okay so no signal blind spot again handbrake off and we do the clutch control okay we start off with the clutch control as soon as the car moves full right lock steering full right lock okay clutch control because like i said the sides are lower and the middle of the road is higher which means we are going up the hill so clutch control really slowly with the clutch don't let the clutch go just with the clutch we are looking all around make sure no one coming and as we reach the top of the road which means we probably reach the other side going down okay so we need to think of downhill so we're going it's still clutch control still clutch control still cl about here is down clutch down to the floor and it's going to go about here clutch down to the floor and it's going and before we stop what do we do steer left and stop why because we need to go the other way handbrake on because it's on a downhill now it's going to go and hit the pavement put the handbrake on reverse gear we look around okay and then we look this way because that's the way we're going first so we're going to look this way clutch control clutch with the biting good this way and full left lock full left lock this time we came with full right lock now full left lock looking this way half of the road when we come to the half of the road middle we go the other way because that side of the car is going to touch the pavement we look this way looking around we look this way and now we're thinking of downhill okay and we steer this way before we stop handbrake on first gear look around again going up so clutch control no one coming and we steer and we drive on okay and uh, this is how it looks from the outside clutch down first case set the gas look around no signal clutch control to move the car we reach the top of the road with the clutch so we go the clutch control and from the top we think of downhill so maybe brake control clutch down to the floor and brake just before you stop steer slightly left and stop when you stop put the handbrake on go to reverse gear look around look over our left shoulder at the back and start going back with the clutch control we go halfway with the clutch and then think of the brake control clutch down and brake look over our right for the pavement we stop handbrake on first gear look around and then we move off 
and this is how the maneuver is done okay that's it for today and i hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now